Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm King Posh, your host for today's show. So I want to show you guys uh, this tune that I've been working on. I had a uh, 25 RTR Mustang tune um, when the game first came out, but uh, I can only hit like a 77,000 on this. Uh, so I just started working on it, working on it, working on it, and I, I got it up to an 84. Um, I could have hit an 85, but that's for you guys to do. Um, so my rank right now on this track is 600 of 16,469. So I, I think that's a really good number uh, to go with. Um, now, I mean, when it says Bounty Hunter Drift with the Pros, the one thing I, I wish they would fix what is like when you get the leaderboards, it would just be the RTR Mustang or just the car that you're using to see um, how you're ranking up with everybody else. But um, that's just how they have it. So that's just what we'll have to deal with for now. Um, so I'm going to show you guys uh, what I've done to this car. And if you need to change anything, um, you can. Or you can just take my tune and run with it. And uh, see if you can beat my uh, score on the featured event. Uh, let's go right to it and show you um, the tune. So here's my tune right here. King's Real Drive Drift. I just put it up um, for you guys. And uh, it says Points King, Drift Rivals Ready, second and third gear tuned. All right, it's got a thousand horsepower and it weighs 31.42 pounds. All right, it's also got drive tires on it. Now, there's really not much you can really do to this car. Um, of course, I want the drag tires to keep it in an S class. Um, it starts with an R class, but um, I like lower class uh, cars. All right, stock uh, front tire width. All right, and max tire width in the rear. And see that thick tire in the back there. All right, rims are always gonna be my favorite rims. The TC 105 ends. All right, max tire uh, rim size, max tire, max rim size for both the front and the rear. All right, platform and handling, all you have is the race brakes. So not much you can actually put onto this car. It's all about the tune. So let's get into that tune and show you guys what I did. So you can uh, go forth and have fun with it. So it's got a zero to 60 in four seconds. Uh, zero to 106 point seven. And it does, you know, one fourth of a mile in 10 six. Uh, top speed's failed, and everything else has failed except lateral. So, uh, 15 15 um, to keep the car under control with a thousand horsepower. Um, the gearing, you only got four gears, so uh, these are the numbers that I came up with, and you guys can just, you know, pause uh, this video, write down these numbers on a piece of paper in case you want to change anything. Alright, let's go to the alignment. Alright, my camber is all negative, so it's negative 1.4 and negative 1.4. Um, before uh, my camber was positive 2.1 and my rear was um, negative 1.0. Um, my toe is now out 5.0 and the rear is out 4.2 before the tune that I had before it was uh, still 5.0 um, for the front but the rear was at 3.7 so I just kept on going up and up and up with these numbers switching them out around to see um, what I could do and this is uh, the best so far all right and then the front caster is at 7.0 and you got a 60 degree angle. Anti-roll bars is a 2960 and a 2380. 
Um, how to get exact numbers is you take that bar and you take it all the way down the soft so it'll zero out and then you go, go to the numbers you need to pick. Um, springs are 956.7 and 937.7. So um, you can go 955 and 936. I don't know why that changed, but uh, that's usually what I run. I run around those numbers. Um, but uh, apparently uh, it works perfect just as this is. And like I said, you just got to zero out these uh, numbers um, to get the, uh, the correct number of 0.7. You might have to go all the way complete soft or you might have to go all the way to complete stiff to get that number. Right. right height is exactly the same for the front and the rear. Dampening, uh, it's stiff for the rebound stiffness and, it, and they're exactly the same number. And then this bump stiffness is just dropped as soft as can be. So I mean, it, so you can just glide um, through those turns sideways. All right, you'll definitely know a difference if you take that bump stiffness and bring it up to tens with the uh, with the rebound. Uh, you, you'll see what happens when you take it around a corner. Uh, it's not very soft, and you're you'll more than likely spin out easily. Uh, just follow that, and you should be in the clear. All right, it's got downforce, can't really do much about that. So you just take your downforce, put it all the way down the speed, and you should be okay. All right, this rear wheel drive, you're drifting, you really don't need to worry about the brakes. Um, the brakes are strong enough, so don't even touch them. And uh, the rear acceleration and deceleration, just, just put them all the way up to high, um, 100%, 100%. Um, I don't even know how that person's name popped up because I'm on uh, Do Not Disturb. Again. Let's do that again. Thank you. So, yes. Oh. And that is the tune. So, hopefully, um, you guys can go and, and drift with the pros and uh, beat me. So I definitely want to see that and I'll definitely be um, looking at the rivals um, in the next couple of days and uh, uh, let me know in the comments below if, if, if you beat me with my, with my own tune. And uh, yeah, so all right guys. Well hey, thanks for watching and hopefully this tune really helps you out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.